So as we are planning on adding some more items to this example, let's learn about one more thing, how you can set um, a mnemonic on the button. So that allows you to control the button from the keyboard. So in order to do that, let's say if I want to add it on exit E, I'll just simply use an underscore before that. That's all I need to do. So now when I run it again, it does not shows underscore, uh, it does not shows underline under the E until and unless you press the Alt key on the keyboard. And notice there is an underline that appears under E. Okay, so now that makes it Alt E. You can press Alt E and that will actually be click event for the button. So that's how you can add a mnemonic just by putting an underscore. The next thing that we want to do over here is we want to change our root from a group to one of the layouts. So I'm going to use HBox, which is for creating a horizontal box of elements. So I'm going to create an object of HBox type. And I'm not going to assign it any item to start with. And I'm going to call this one, instead of group, let me call this one root. Organize your imports. And of course, uh, we're going to be adding to the scene root instead of group because we changed the name of our root element. Now, between the declaration of scene and between the declaration of root, that's where in between the two, we will learn how you can add a child or a node to the scene graph, provided you have created a root. Okay, So this will going to serve our foundation when we learn later today how you can add more than one elements. So root dot get children. That will going to return a list of children. To that list, you will say, I want to add a new child. The name of the child is exit. So that's how you can add to the list. You can keep calling add and you can keep adding items and the tree grows. If you add um, a container, it adds a branch. If you add a item, it adds a leaf. I'll just run it and you will notice there is no difference in output. We just changed the layout behind the scene, but that's the only item. So there's no other item to show next to it in the, in the line. But this is how you can use HBox, and this is how you can add items to the HBox. Okay? In the next example, we will learn how you can use an external CSS. So let me save this one.